What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield team builder. This time around, we are going to be building around Grimmsnarl, Gigantamax Grimmsnarl. As you can see, we're going to be running a weakness policy really quick just before I get started with this team builder. I want to let you guys know that I did a little bit of a voting on my Instagram as to should I have built a team around Grimmsnarl or Duraludon. I did make a video promoting this and I also did make a poll. Grimmsnarl was a winner by a really, really large margin. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do Grimmsnarl this week and we're going to go ahead and do Duraludon on the next team builder. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Our strategy is going to be similar to what Machamp was, but there's going to be a little bit of a twist and I'll explain that here in just a moment. Now, the first Pokemon in this team is going to be a Bolt Hound. Strong Jaw Life Orb. This is going to be a Jolly Nature Bolt Sound with 252 attack, 252 speed, and just throw the rest into its defensive stat. We really want to get uh, Life Orb and Strong Jaw going here, and that's why I have Crunch, Fire Fang, Psychic Fangs, which is actually very, very, very handy when there's screens on my opponent's side of the field. And last but not least, Thunder Fang. Really quick. I just want to mention that Thunder Fang with Strong Jaw and Life Orb is a lot stronger than, than the Wild Charge. Because if I hit a Wild Charge and something resists it, Bolt Town is just going to take some damage with the recoil. So I think Thunder Fang is going to be a little bit of a better move in this situation here. The second Pokemon that we have here today is going to be Gengar. Nothing too fancy here, just max out the speed and the special attack and just throw the rest into a defensive stat. This Gengar here obviously lost Levitate, which is why we are running an Air Balloon Gengar. Levitate was such a huge ability in this Pokemon, it's a little bit of a shame that it got nerfed back in Generation, Generation 7. But here in this particular situation, we are pretty fast. 110 uh, base speed is its speed stat, I believe it is. But here we got Destiny Bond for anything that wants to come in. Sucker Punch, or not Sucker Punch because we won't be able to out-prioritize it. But let's just say that something comes in that's pretty threatening to my team and is going to knock out my Gengar. Destiny Bond is there for that exact reason. Uh, now we have Shadow Ball for Stab, Sludge Wave for Stab, and Focus Blast for coverage. Sludge Wave is on this Gengar because this is actually the Gengar that was in an event. I believe it was in Pokemon X and Y for a Mega Gengar. This is essentially a shiny Gengar, so I'm really, really excited on using this Gengar. Pokemon number three, we got Excadrill. Choice Scarf, Sand Rush, Excadrill. I probably should run a Sand Force Excadrill in case there's a Sand on the field, but it never hurts to have a lot of speed, right? Now, the biggest thing here is going to be, we're going to be clicking a lot of Earthquake and a lot of Iron Head. Rock Slide here and there every once in a while for coverage. Rapid Spin just to get rid of rocks as it really threatens my Halucha and not, not really anybody else. Pokemon number four. This time around, we are bringing around a Halucha. Halucha is a really, really good Pokemon in my opinion. Now, I know there's different ways you can run Halucha now ever since Generation 6. In this particular case, we're bringing back old school Halucha with Sword Stance, Sky Attack powered with a Power Herb and an Unburden. In case you guys didn't know, Sky Attack takes two turns to charge. Thanks to the Power Herb, that's just going to go ahead and override that. And Sky Attack is a base 100, I believe 140. It might be 120, but I believe it's 140 base power. That's going to hit like a truck. And essentially, this is an adamant Halucha. So we're going to be dishing out as much damage as we can get while still being really, really fast. If I get the right moves going, I can even outspeed a Dragapult. And Dragapult is a really fast Pokemon. Poison Jab for coverage on these pesky fairy types running around. And High Jump Kick is going to be our primary stab attack. Pokemon number five. And this is going to be the glue to this team, just like Bronzong was on the previous team. So we got Claydol, Levitate, Light Clay. It's really almost the exact same set as we used on the, Bron the Bronzong, except it's a little bit different. We're still running Stealth Rock. We're still running Reflect and Light Screen. But this time around, in order to outspeed some Pokemon, we got some Rock Tom go action going there. And that, that's going to be it right there. 252 at HP and 252 defense. Throw the rest into the special defense stat. And essentially, Pokemon number six. And this is the Pokemon we're building around. The strategy behind this is to set up a Reflect and a Light Screen. Try to get Grimmsnarl to take a really super effective attack. 
And essentially, weakness policy is going to increase our attack and special attack stat. Not that the special attack matters in this case here. But essentially, we got 252 attack Grimstone, 252 speed. And just throwing the rest into defense. We got bulk up. False Surrender, which is a new move in this generation and exclusive to Grim Snarl. We got Drain Punch for longevity and coverage and Spirit Break. The reason I'm running Spirit Break instead of Play Rough is because Spirit Break essentially lowers my opponent's special attack by one, guaranteed. And that essentially is really, really helpful. Let's say we have a Grim Snarl on the field and my opponent's going to switch into a special, a special attacker. Spirit Break is going to essentially play a good factor in that. So that's why I'm running this Spirit Break. Uh, Spirit Break instead of the play rough but there you have it that is going to be our team i'm really excited to use this team to be honest with you guys let's see what our record is going to be out of three videos three battles sometimes we will do a little bit more battles if if, if the opponent dc's i'm obviously going to count that as a w but not essentially a beginning to end battle w so let me know what you guys think do you think we will go one and two or do you think we'll go two and one or three zero maybe even zero three who knows but let me know down in the comment section below make sure you guys like the video if you guys feel like this team is going to be a pretty good team because i'm excited to use a bolt town to be completely honest with you and last but not least subscribe to my channel i post pokemon videos every single week and our first battle with this team is going to come in on friday so you're not going to want to miss that turn on that notification bell thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time